Okay, look, I've had a lot of bad things to say about various trailers I've seen this year, and certainly not many good things to say about Disney, who is led by the one and only Cock Fucking Eager. However, when I woke up this morning and saw that Disney Studios had finally released the teaser trailer for the live action adaptation of Mulan, I was conflicted. For those of you who don't know, or those of you who simply think I don't respect women or any of that bullshit, I'll have you know that Mulan is actually my favorite Disney movie of all time. Excellent story, god-tier soundtrack, hilarious humor with funny and likable characters with a protagonist who has all of the charisma and charm in the world. Now let's go through this trailer and I'll run through the things I liked and the things I disliked, followed by my thoughts on what I think the movie needs to be the best that it can. Here we go. So the trailer begins with Mulan riding through the fields of her family estate and we see a couple of shots informing us of what her family residence and her local town looks like. This movie looks very pretty already. One of the reasons why I was excited for a Mulan live action adaptation is because Disney has all the money and resources to make it truly epic and because unlike the Lion King live action movie that's coming out soon, Mulan's is actually one that makes sense to have. Then it cuts to Mulan's family having tea and discussing qualities that make up a good wife, with a reference to The Matchmaker, which is all in the original movie and very much appreciated. I love the casting choices for Mulan's parents. Apparently Jet Li is going to be the Emperor. We didn't get to see him, sadly, but Jet Li is awesome in just about anything, so I'm optimistic. I'm very excited about who they decided to cast as the character of Mulan. I can't pronounce the actress's name, sadly, but this shot was very telling to me. Just this one little smile completely captured the demeanor of how Mulan is portrayed in the original movie. She's a bit of a goof. She's funny, she has a sense of humor, she's extremely flawed, and that's what makes her likable. So anyway, her father tells her that her fate is decided, and that they will find a husband to match her with, and that by being a good wife with the qualities that they deem to be most prized, she can bring honor to the family. And then Mulan reluctantly agrees, quoting the line that she will bring honor to them all which is the opening song of the original movie, as a matter of fact. Again, these are all good signs, staying true to the source material. Excellent. But then we get to the latter half of the trailer that I was really, really concerned with. What I was seeing raised a few red flags. Now, before I start this one off, let me just say that I know that certain things need to be changed in a live-action adaptation. And if Disney wants to add in some new songs, or if they want to make some additional scenes to expand upon who the characters are... That's all good and fine. Hell, I even encourage it. I'd personally like to see more extra scenes with Shang and Mulan during her training, or extra scenes expanding on Mulan's relationship with her father. But two red flags really stood out to me. One's a minor one, and one's a major one. I looked on IMDb, and I saw that both Mulan and her parents weren't referenced as the Far family. Now, I hope that this is a mistake upon IMDb's part, and not Disney's. But the major red flag is where the fuck is Shang? You know Shang, the captain of Mulan's army unit, the second main character of the movie, Mulan's love interest, and one of the many awesome characters in the original movie that they had? I hope it is the same character, just named something different. I have no idea why they would exclude him, or give him a different name to make things unnecessarily complicated, but oh well. Now for the big stuff that bothered me. Mulan's family is reciting the qualities that make up a good wife. Quiet, composed, graceful, and disciplined. While these words are being recited, it has a montage of Mulan practicing Tai Chi and sword training in her room, like she always dreams of becoming a fighter one day. Okay, stop right there. Now admittedly, these shots are completely out of context of Mulan training in her own time, but does what I've described sound at all familiar to another well-known female heroine character? Because if I didn't know any better, I'd say Disney were trying to turn Mulan into Arya fucking Stark from Game of Fucking Thrones. And that is not good. Milan never wanted to be a soldier or a fighter. She didn't sword train on her own or perform Tai Chi. She was more than willing to perform her duty for her family, commit to an arranged marriage, because she only ever wanted to do her family proud, no matter what that meant, even if it was adhering to a custom she wasn't fond of. Now, one of my favorite Mulan songs is Who I Am Inside, which is performed after she completely botches her meeting with the matchmaker. Mulan is anything but graceful, and she knows she doesn't fit in with what traditional women are meant to do from that time period. She knows that she is meant for something else, she just doesn't know what that is yet, until Destiny calls upon her to become a soldier out of necessity to save her father. She isn't actively hoping to be sent off to a battle and fight the Huns, she isn't practicing sword fighting every day. Now, she has a tomboy nature to her, sure, 
but she's actively trying to be the best she can be for her family. She isn't a typical rebellious teenager either. She's clumsy and she's goofy and she feels awkward in the situations her family puts her in. But she's also very intelligent and that's what helps her excel on her journey. But according to this trailer, it looks like Disney want to take the route of Mulan actively trying to defy her family and go and fight in a war because it's something she wants to do, which is just retarded. When Mulan goes off to war, she's never even picked up a sword before. She is a complete fish out of water, which adds to the hilarity of her situation. But this is what helps lend empathy to her story, is that she made a decision she cannot turn back from, a decision which was essentially suicide in order to save her father. She is in a seemingly unsurvivable situation. If she goes off to battle, she's probably going to die. If the army of China finds out she's a woman, guess what? She dies. If Mulan is going to take up arms simply because Disney wants to send a message that women are strong and can do whatever the fuck they want, that is just stupid and nonsensical with the story they are trying to adapt. Oh, and that brings me to something else that pissed me off. Where the fuck was Mushu? You know, the best damn character of the original movie played by Eddie fucking Murphy, one of the funniest men alive? Where is this character who is essentially Mulan's guardian angel and saves her numerous times and helps her survive the unsurvivable journey ahead of her? Instead, the trailer ends with a military training montage, which was slightly reminiscent of the original movie, which I did enjoy, and a short glimpse of the big avalanche that's meant to happen, which is all good and fine. We also see Mulan kicking a ton of ass in an open field battle against the Hun army. Okay, look, this is another thing that makes me really nervous. Mulan is supposed to be middling at sword fighting arrow shooting, and soldier combat in general. She can fight, but again, that's not where she excels. She excels with her intelligence and her ability to think outside the box. It's that combined with her remarkable bravery that enables her to triumph over her adversity and the grim situations that she finds herself in. But this trailer would have you believe that she's some kind of master swordsman and a truly skilled warrior, which completely misses the point of Mulan as a character and what makes her great. And on that note, the trailer ends. Okay, look, I'm not going to lie, the trailer as a whole looks good. Yes, I know, it's only a teaser, and yes, I know, some, if not all, of my grievances may be addressed in a fully-fledged trailer and in the final cut of the movie. But still, I'm extremely nervous. I'm nervous that they are actively going to exclude Shang and Mushu from the story because they want to turn Mulan into some kind of hollow Mary Sue character who doesn't require help from men, or hell, even a small fire-breathing dragon voiced by a minority, despite Disney's insistence that they are pro-diversity in the film industry. Can someone please explain to me why they recast Matthew Broderick with Donald Pando Glover to voice Simba in the upcoming Lion King live-action movie? But they won't recast Nathan Lane, an openly gay man, to voice Timon like he did in the original? And they won't recast Eddie Murphy, a black man, to voice one of the most crucial characters in the Mulan live-action movie, which he did an outstanding job with in the original. Do I really have to point out Disney's ridiculous hypocrisy? I'm nervous that they are going to change the most iconic song of the movie, Be a Man, with... Because they think that that theme song is somehow offensive and not progressive enough, despite it being unanimously adored by just about everyone. I'm nervous that they are going to make the movie so serious that they miss out on so much of the awesome humor that made the original so much fun. And most of all, I'm nervous. They are going to destroy what makes Mulan one of the greatest strong female characters in all of film and animated film for that matter. Disney has the potential to make something truly great, truly groundbreaking. Something that can make both women and men all over the world proud to witness. A heroine that is relatable, funny, and unique. Instead of the most generic and unlikable strong female characters that are constantly being churned out by Hollywood's cesspool of scum fucky writers. I use Mulan constantly as an example to show how Captain Marvel got it so wrong. Because the original Mulan is my favorite Disney movie and does everything so well especially the strong female protagonist aspect. I want this movie to be as faithful and as good as possible because I want to say in 2020 that Mulan, the live action movie, was fucking phenomenal. Please, cock eager. Please, I'm begging you, with every fiber of my being, don't fuck this up.